guys, this is YouTube. How you doing? This is um um I know GIMP is my first tutorial. The first tutorial is how to make a fake game case. All right, now I have GIMP already get open, but you get it's like a basically a better Photoshop, but for free. So you want to do is go to it's called GIMP. Go to GIMP.org and download it. So the first thing first now, I'm um, click new, and it has to be 494 by 697. And click OK. And now it should be black like this. If it isn't, just click these two arrows. And the white should be in front of the black. And it'll make it black. Now, first things first, you want to click File, Open as Layers. And the, the supplies you're going to need a Microsoft picture, of Gloria, your thing, for your game case, a Bungie logo, a ESRBM rating, your Halo 3 wallpaper, and your hey your, your master chief guy all right now now we are going to start i'm gonna click open i'm gonna click open and yeah the most important is the game case click which is infinite undiscovery that's what i'm using now it's this now i'm gonna take that out by clicking by clicking um by by the rectangle tool but first i'm gonna zoom in a little bit Perfect. I'm gonna get the rectangle tool. And what you wanna do basically is you wanna get it like pretty much wide. Alright, now I know it's gonna go to a little slow, but I know. Now once you reach out of the bottom, you're going to get this. You're gonna click on layers and you're gonna click Add to al add alpha channel, edit, cut, select none, and now view, and let's zoom out. Now it should be like this. Okay, good. All right. Um. Oh yeah. And we are going to select on your layers tab. You're going to click on the background. I'm going to click file, open as layers. To add, time to add your backdrop, which is this. Click open. And now this should pop up now. We see how it's out of place. So you don't want this. So we are going to center this out a little bit. I know it's just, I we don't want that Halo 3 word popping out. I know, I know. We are going to get rid of that. We are going to get rid of that right now. Alright, alright, perfect. Now we're going to go get rid of this, alright? I'm going to just get the eraser tool. So, well, this is what I'm doing. Get the eraser tool. I'm gonna make it pretty big, and I'm erasing it. Just erase it, and try not to get the top. Like try, to don't get out of place itself. I'm just, go I'm rushing through here. I, but it looks like I got it pretty perfect. No, I actually didn't. Okay, make sure you got all of it. Good. Now, now we had our, we have our backdrop for the, our game case. Next is. Now we are going to um, add Master Chief. So I'm gonna click File. Uh huh. Let me show these layers real quickly. Yeah. So File, Open, Open as Layers. Get your Master Chief guy. Click Open. Now you have this. We are going to drag this down. You know, we can have him in the middle if you want, like this. Um, you can have his face, have his face shot on this side, or uh, I'm gonna h use him on this side. Um, let's see, more, like right there. All right, now I'm gonna now we're gonna get rid of this right now by using the eraser tool again, and make it 
pretty big and just erase them. Watch out for Master Chief, all right? You can remember you can put it anywhere you want and if if you where you put it and you, see and you don't see the logo, you don't have to really do anything then. But if you put it where I'm doing it, then pretty much you need to erase it. <laughs> all right, now I got that. Good. Mm. All right. Next is all right now um now now we are going you render you know your render for Master Chief you want to duplicate it by right clicking on it and duplicate layer now the one that's highlighted you want to go to your gradient and you want to select incandescent as your gradient what we're gonna do is like y if you look at your Master Chief guys you see how he's just pale like kind of pale and no sun is reflecting off him we are going to make the sun literally reflect off his armor and stuff and put blood spots there. Alright, so now as you pick on incandes incandescent, next. Alright, as you clicked on incandescent, you want to go to colors, map, gradient map. And the Master Chief should turn orangey, orange reddish. Alright, after that. And I want to go to your layer mode. Alright, let's pull out this. You know, your mode want to make it overlay, and you want to make this. I'm talking about. Let's see, um, seventy-two point two. Yeah, there we go. Now you see the sun is kind of reflecting off them. Good, good. Good, good. Um, now we're gonna click on right click on your render when it's like reddish. You wanna click on um where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Merge down. And I'll give them more of a reddish reflection, which is pretty good. Cool now. Great after is um that um now we're gonna import our Halo 4 logo. So file open as layers. And a Halo 4 logo, which is this. Click open. You can find this off Google if you want. I'll take you to the link. All right, now now it's a little too big as you see. So we're gonna take our our scale tool. We're gonna click on the image, move this to a side, and we are going to drag this down. I go around about there. Click enter. Now we should have this. Now I'm gonna take our move tool, and we should put it around about right here. Now we're never, now we're gonna remove this image back here, which is kind of easy. So we are going to click on your um, what's it called? Your color tool. You know your color tool where it makes it like transparent. We're gonna click on the black part. You wanna click edit. Cut, select, none, and now you see, now it's there. Now you can place wherever you want. I'm going to place it, oh wait, uh, watch out where you select. Now you're going to click on your Halo 4 layer, click on your Halo 4 layer again on the screen, tap it once, grab it, and drag it. Make sure you don't drag the background. If you do, just click Control Z, and it'll undo it, and put it wherever you want. Well, that's if you have Windows 7, I don't know about Mac. Or, I mean, not Windows 7, w Windows XP, Windows Vista, whatever you want. And I'm going to put it around here. All right, good. Halo 4, yeah. Great, great. After that, we are going to make um his armor look a little beat up, all right? Like, you know, his armor, because if you, if you look closely, his armor looks pretty, actually, perfect. And we don't want that. It's Halo 4, Halo 3, he got pretty beat up. And Halo 2 and Halo 1. They all, he all got beat up, so we're going to make his armor beat up, all right? So it, we're going to make a new layer over Master Chief. So new. And we're going to see how we're making a new layer. Same exact size again. Click OK. Now it's right over Master Chief. You better make it over Master Chief, all right? Put it over Master Chief. Now we want to um, want to make a, a Sparks brush. So I'm going to click on the brush. Click on here, and we're going to pick the Sparks brush, which is looks like a kind of a sun.